Hello and welcome back to another tutorial by Ali at Dunduka Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, audio, sound and music in Construct 3 and your uh, exports. And as you can see, I have uh, these objects here, two buttons for triggering uh, sound and music and uh, four different text buttons. Uh, for playing these uh, sound effects and actually this one plays a random between these three and uh, we have a music file which will be played after we start the game okay and of course uh, I have, uh, I've used uh, local storage plugin or object in the game to save the uh, state of music and sound in the memory of browser or device for uh, remembering it uh, when we uh, close the game and start that again okay okay before uh, going to the main sheet and show the actions and events I'm gonna run this layout and uh, show you the demo of this uh, template okay as you can see, the sound is on. I'm gonna click on the uh, sound buttons. Okay, and this one will play random sound. Okay, <laughs> I've clicked very fast, okay. And uh, we have a music button. I've already uh, disabled it and look how the storage saved, the, uh, saved uh, its state. And I'm gonna enable it okay it will play a looping music which we have here and uh, now let's go and see what we have in main sheet okay as you can see we have two different uh, variable here for music and sound one means uh, music is on and zero means it's off okay I'm gonna go for the first group we have. Uh, we have these uh, events here for uh, actually playing sounds by clicking on these text buttons. When I click on a text that uh, type is one, which is this one, I'm gonna call play sound function, play sound function, which we have here. And this function have a parameter called sound name, and we just uh, call this uh, actually by name. And uh, this one handle the playing the audio. Okay. The function we have here uh, has a condition, and audios uh, in this function will play when sound is on. Okay, sound is equal to one, which means is on. Okay, and by clicking on each of these buttons, uh, I will play SFX one, two, or three. And this one, which is type four, when I click on uh, click on it, uh, it will play random sound between this uh, these uh, sound files. Okay? Okay, another thing we can do with this function is adding a new parameter to it. I'm going to hit P for adding a new parameter called wall or volume. And it's going to be number. And uh, here I'm going to set volume to wall variable. And I'm going to copy and paste it for other actions. And here when I set uh, wall to zero, it means it plays a uh, normal it plays normal volume and when I set it to minus 10 it will uh, play the sound uh, half of the normal volume okay and when I set it to minus 20 30 or maybe 50 it's gonna uh, mute or make the sound very very low okay so this is uh, about volume and I'm gonna close this func uh, close this group and go for music. Okay, uh, we have this uh, event here for playing music. 
if music is on and tag music is not playing I've uh, inverted this even for saying it's not and uh, if it's not playing we're gonna play epic ARPG which we have here looping and uh, with tag of music which we mentioned it here okay and uh, for stopping the music or disabling the music uh, we need to say when music is off or it's equal to zero uh, use trigger once and uh, stop the music okay I'm gonna go for the next group which is buttons in the buttons I've uh, set when I clicked on BTN music, which is this, uh, we need to set the uh, variable of music to animation frame of BTN music. Okay, as you can see, BTN music have two animation frames. Zero means our uh, music is equal to one, and one means uh, the the music is off. Okay and uh, this animation have a speed of zero because we're going to use uh, their frames and as a button not a not just a animation okay so when uh, we click on btn music we set the music to uh, value of this animation of animation frame of this button okay and when music is zero we set a uh, frame of btn music to one and when btn uh, sorry <laughs> when uh, music is one we set the frame to zero and we did these actions and events for sound two okay we did it for btn sound and uh, just one thing uh, I, i've not explained for you is this okay we set key of music to value of music variable okay uh, because we need to save the state of music in the memory okay and of course we did it for sound and uh, let's go to local storage as you can see when we start the, uh, the layout uh, we check if uh, sound or music exists and if they exist we set the variable of sound and music to the value of local storage the value that I uh, already saved okay and uh, that's it that that's about uh, music and sound and now let's talk about some issues you may have for uh, playing sounds in uh, some devices or even HTML5 export. Okay, some of you may uh, experience that uh, audios and uh, sounds in construct doesn't play in export, in HTML5 export or uh, device exports, okay? And uh, that may fixed when we put the music in the sounds folder or uh, when you export the game don't minify it just leave the minify mode to none okay and uh, some of the times you need to just uh, change the bitrate of the sounds to something lower to allow the browser to play it correctly Okay, uh, another thing you may experience before is not playing some sounds or music at the start of the layout and uh, it's, it's going to be fixed uh, when we uh, do first action, first touch action of mouse or keyboard action and then uh, the browser will enable uh, playing the sound, okay? and uh, for fixing that for making that right you just need to add another layout for example i add a uh, start layout and put it here and just put a button here and when uh, and when user clicks on it 
goes to the main layout and goes to the game okay and when we put uh, that button we need to play the sound after clicking on it maybe a click sound and then uh, the sound will be enabled okay here's the list that uh, you can download free uh, sound effects and musics and uh, of course links are in this description and thanks for watching my videos and tutorials please like and subscribe see ya